Good day everyone and a happy new year 2014. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the D-Link SharePoint utility in your stock installed TM Unify router. So the router is TM router, uh, is actually provided by this L7 networks. So it is actually a Taiwan Cameo branded DIR614 router, just another rebatch version of D-Link's DIR614. So the firmware uh, re preloaded inside this router was 1.05 TM. It got automatically updated according to my uh, this page. So this SharePoint utility is confirmed working on hardware version A1 and firmware version 1.07 TM. So as you can see in the router box provided by this TM, inside there there should be it should comes with uh, this so a pack of man, a quick start guide, RMA forms, warranty card, and a CD. So basically, it has, uh, according to the CD, it is specially meant for TM, uh, provided by L7 Networks. It does include a manual quick install guide and this SharePoint utility software. However, uh, the SharePoint utility software uh, in this CD doesn't work on my Windows 8 Pro 64 bit. So now I'm going to guide you to how. Uh, how to get the SharePoint utility working as if you try to use the CD's SharePoint utility which is the version SharePoint 1.17 B02 yeah basically it's a SharePoint utility version 1.17 revision 2 it doesn't work uh, what I got the error is this error which is the SharePoint installation is complete and please reinstall again. So as usual, the Google pointed me towards installation with admin privilege. You need to allow port in the firewall, uh, disable your antivirus, and yeah, try different version of SharePoint utility. I have personally tried 1.14, 1.16, and 1.17 as pointed out in Google. Yeah, basically just uh, go through some forums it just doesn't work for me some people suggested alternatives including the Silex technology virtual link software which didn't rebrand it as a SharePoint utility plus still does not work for me uh, and what I found out is D-Link's SharePoint utility plus is only meant for more advanced range of routers provided by D-Link okay so I'm now going to show you how to get your SharePoint utility to work for me it will be Windows 8 64 bit Pro. First, get a file from the link below as I have attached. And as check it out, you should see SharePoint Utility 1.2. You click in and you get the list of files here. So, yeah, just run the setup manually. So, I'm going to show you now. Yes, grant admin access. So, yeah, just do the usual setup. So we let it install. What I found out for this version is version 1.2 will prompt for restart. I had tried through uh, like three to five versions of SharePoint utility. It doesn't prompt for a reboot. However, for this SharePoint 1.2, it prompts for a reboot. This is a, a very uh, what I observed the difference with this version of SharePoint with other versions. So let's go and restart the computer. After your computer has restarted, you should see the SharePoint uh, desktop icon and also inside your taskbar there should be have a SharePoint icon there so let's double click it so what it states is that no USB device let's proceed to the router side and let's plug it in now so as you can see this is the provided TM Unify router so there's a USB port here yeah, let's try to plug in your printer's uh, cable, the plug, and yeah, just plug it in. Okay, what I found from this uh, router, the USB port is actually quite, it's a very snug fit, actually. Okay, so once you plug it in, and nearly at instant, they will tell you that, yeah, SharePoint has found something. So it's uh, my printer Fuji Xerox, the cool print, CM205B. So at here it states it's uh, waiting to connect. 
so yeah just click on manage device and you start the installation so you can start your installation here if you haven't do so you can just put in your printer CD and you click yes and you just yeah put your printer CD in run through the set of installation and yeah you basically you just click next and next and you try to associate your printer with it so I have done so so yeah I uh, I won't be doing that again so is the shell port limited to a single USB device only at a time so I would like to try to see whether it is capable of handling multiple device at once so I got myself a USB hub and it also comes together as a card reader itself so let's try to plug it in and see what happens so I'm plugging in it to the router so there's a light I would like to plug in previously my printer jack again and also this time I also have uh, my pen drive so I have plugged it in and with a total of three devices first is the memory card second is the printer third is the thumb drive itself and through one connection to the router so let's see what happens on my computer SharePoint software successfully registered three devices across two, two computers so first it registers a mass storage device which is the card reader and we have this uh, thumb drive we also have the previously installed printer so I would like to know whether is it possible for me to maybe perhaps connect this device to my this computer I would like to pull some files here while across another computer I would like to print print out something so let's try so in this computer I would like to print out a page let's say so I'll just connect the printer yes it's in use by my computer now so let's go to another computer okay this computer I would like to transfer some files so I would like to connect this as you can see it is possible to connect two different devices on two different computers at the same time wired or wirelessly I didn't expect SharePoint has such functions so I had also tried to uh, connect a USB 3G dongle it works and a mouse yeah a mouse and a keyboard yeah there's no problem with it so the SharePoint utility is indeed quite powerful in terms of handling multiple devices at once to conclude the video, the SharePoint utility is a very powerful software that brings the file sharing and printer sharing to the extent of working as a printer server or a file server. The software when bundled with a USB hub and multiple devices allows multiple access to different users at the same time, both wired and wirelessly. It works as a virtual USB extension port for your computer across your own network. Let it be a thumb drive, a printer, a mouse or a 3G USB dongle. It works as if it's plugged directly into your computer's USB jack. And what's wonderful is with the correct SharePoint version software, it works directly with your stock TM Unify L7 router, even across Windows 7 or Windows 8 platform. This ends my sharing of my experience with SharePoint software and my Unify L7 router. This is Sam Boy and thank you for watching.